Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God and family and friends to unite Joe Gannon and Amy Faye in the union of marriage. Could you please join me in a time of prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for being here with us today. We thank you for this special occasion, and we thank you for bringing Joe and Amy together as they begin their life as husband and wife. Lord, we ask that you bless this ceremony and bless all that is said to your glory. For it's in your Son's name we pray. Amen. Guests can be seated, please. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a lasting relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man is to unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. The home is built upon love, which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, and it reads as follows. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. Joe and Amy will share alike in the responsibilities and joys of life. When companions have a sorrow, the sorrow is halved. And when they share a joy, the joy is doubled. I encourage you to dedicate your home to God. Take his word, the Bible, for your guide. Give loyal devotion to his church. In doing these, in doing these things, you will unite the mutual strengths of these two most important institutions, which God himself created, the home and the church. I also encourage you to live your lives as his willing servants. If you choose to serve him, true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward. If then Joe and Amy have freely and deliberately chosen each other's partners in marriage and life, and know of no reason why you should not be so united, in token thereof, will you please, and you are already joining hands, and there's a weird bug on you. Oh. Okay, sir. All right. I had a really long tail. I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> do you, Joe, Amy, do you, Joe, take Amy to be your lawful wife, and do you promise before God and these witnesses to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keeping only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. And Amy... Do you take Joe 
to be your lawful husband? And do you promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto him so long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Having declared that you have chosen each other's partners for life, let us now share the vows of commitment. Joe, I ask that you repeat after me. I, Joe, take you, Amy. I, Joe, take you, Amy. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And now, Amy, I will ask that you repeat after me. I, Amy, take you, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I Amy take you, Joe. To be my husband. <laughs> I can't look at him and be serious. <laughs> to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer <clears throat> or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Okay, we will now at this time exchange the wedding rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. First, the purity of the gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. Second, the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking. As a token of your vows and a sign of your love, you will now give and receive the rings. Joe, I'm going to ask you to take Amy's ring and place it on her finger. And now, Joe, I'm going to ask that once again you repeat after me. Amy, with this ring. Amy, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and my love to you. And now, Amy, I'm going to ask that you take Joe's ring and place it on his finger. <laughs> and now, Amy, I'm going to ask that you repeat after me. Joe, with this ring. Joe, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and my love to you. Now I charge the two of you to remember this covenant is not only a pledge of faith to each other, but also a promise to God to honor the promises you have made to him and to each other. I'm going to once again ask you to join me in a time of prayer. Hi, Father John. How are you? Thanks for coming. You were like creeping in the background. Joe and Amy. Now stand before you, our Heavenly Father, and I want your blessing. And I'm happy and very much in love. I know they need your help if their love is to grow. And so, Father, reach out and touch them. Give your blessing to Amy, your daughter. She may be a good wife. Pray for her home. Pray for Emma for her husband. Send us a great time. And she never failed to give to Joe her encouragement and support. Give a blessing to Joe, your son, so he may be a faithful husband. Never let him take Amy for granted and forget that she needs to be well. Heavenly Father, save by the side in the days ahead. Protect them from anything that might harm their marriage. Give them courage when burdens come in a way. Show them how to forgive one another when they fail. Help them to support one another as individuals and in their careers. Never let them forget that their marriage must always come first. <coughs> Find me, Father, we ask them in their old age, and they love one another as deeply, and cherish one another as much as they do at this very moment, to make our prayers in faith through Christ our Lord. It's a cheap one. It doesn't count. <laughs> For as much then as Joe and Amy have joined together according to the teachings of the scriptures and the laws of the state of Maryland, I as a minister of the gospel declare that they are husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no one separate. Joe, you may now kiss your bride.